Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Bryce uh, of United Five Media. Uh, as you can tell, it's been a minute since we've done an interview, but I'm here today with uh, Miss Wordplay Queen. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and let her introduce herself, and uh, we'll get straight to it. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Wordplay Queen. Um, I got the name because I do poetry, spoken word, but I also have a lot of other things that I'm interested in, and I guess that's what we're gonna kind of go over in this interview right now I'm trying to veer away from podcasts because we we legitly you know on some other stuff over here okay <laughs> so um where you want me to start like um, okay so i guess we can start with uh what you said so poetry so oh my so, god yeah, so how did you how did you get started with that let's go ahead and keep it uh simple i love that. poetry like ever since i was little i journal a lot and because i have a lot of emotions i was kind of more of a depressed type child you know the I think I even went through an emo phase where I was like on some rock music, Paramore was my ish, like, and so I had a rough time. So somebody presented to me that journaling could help me, you know, like express myself in a type of way where I wasn't holding everything in and it was seeming so heavy. So I started journaling, journaling turned into poetry and before I knew it I was on a poetry slam team and I was performing and it escalated pretty quickly. <laughs> Then it de-escalated a lot because I quit the team and you know how you had those moments of self-doubt and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So I just was being hard on myself and didn't follow through, but now I'm coming back stronger than ever. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we feel that. So, so you said that, um, when you got into it, is that someone that inspired you or did you just kind of pick it up on your own? Like you started writing down and then one thing led to another, well, or did you have anyone that you looked up to during that time? I'll say that my biggest inspiration for it was Maya Angelou because we both from St. Louis so I really attached to that and St. Louis is a rough place to be from and so I loved how she turned her her life that she was given how she turned that into something so much more and she helped and inspired and led so many people like with her words that's why I go by wordplay queen because there is so much power in words like we can create our entire reality with if as long as we put intention behind our words mm -hmm. so i always thought that was fascinating she was like i know why the cage bird sings was one of the first books that i read um it's the reason why i titled my book caged bird because i really feel like that's a sentiment to what a lot of people feel like sometimes you know trapped in their own realities so yeah my angelo was a big inspiration to me Shout out, rest in peace. Okay, Queen. okay. So take that back to. So we say you had a you, you titled your book that. So you have a book that's out. Is it published? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. I got a book that's out. It's called Caged Bird. Um, you can get it on Amazon and it's available on Kindle as well. Um, the book is a composition of poetry and sentiments. Sentiments are like a reflection on a topic. Like I did love um, growing up poor. Uh, money, uh, education. I did like reflections on different topics and then it's a, a bunch of poetry in there as well. It's on Amazon, Caged Bird by Asia York. I hope y'all can check it out. If y'all do, let me know. Please leave a review. I only got one. Uh, <laughs> I just want like one more. <laughs> I'll be satisfied. Uh, so yeah, that's my book and I plan to publish more books too. I plan to do more. Okay. I don't know if they're gonna be poetry though. <laughs> okay, so y'all already know we're definitely gonna link that find a way whether it's in the video or in the description or somewhere we'll find a way. So y'all know what it is. Support black owned, support each other. So look y'all go ahead, let's check that out and uh just support. And then moving on to next, you also did said you did uh podcasts, right? Or you like real big into podcasts? Oh yes. So I've done several different podcasts. I've kind of bounced from group here, group here person here individually myself and now I am much more focused I think sometimes it takes people a lot to um, just figure out their path you know you got to try a few things and figure out if that's what you want to do but I, I want to say that if you are somebody who has something that they are passionate about it's better if you be passionate about your dream don't go work with somebody else who is only passionate about their vision and it may seem like it's the same as what you want to do but um it's better to just focus in on your own passion because that way you develop your talents more and that's what i feel like i've been doing being more consistent with my own podcast which is called we are the solution it's on spotify and this app called anchor 
So hope okay. you all can check that out. So once again, all that, what I said before, just tag that on here, put in the <laughs> description, the <laughs> title and all that. So what do you, what do you talk about on this podcast? Is it more like a, a subject or is it kind of broad? Um, I am so revolutionary. <laughs> Because on the podcast, I really try to focus on my organization is We Are the Solution or Watts for short, and I basically am. It's a it's a it's an organization that I definitely want to grow within the community, but it's basically made to create future leaders. It's to give education to people, assistance. Like I'm going to feed the homeless on Sunday, um, because everything that we do as humans should revolve around love and and treating everybody with respect and especially in the african-american community i feel like we can be crabs in a barrel sometimes and i want to create an environment in all communities where people feel safe they can learn and they you know you won't be a nerd because you want to be smart Mm -hmm. and you won't be white because you talk well and you're educated you know what i'm saying like i want for um us to be included and i also think that mentorship is very important so i focus on that too So in my podcast, I basically just talk about all of that and I have guests on who um, are adjacent to what the organization is about. And we talk about current news and, you know, everything that's going on right now, just how we approach that as as, um, people of color. Okay, yeah, I feel like that's really dope too. So especially like the part where you're talking about like raising future leaders and talking to them. Yes. I can tell, like, I know how that feels personally, because growing up, I was always that kid that was, uh, that they called, oh, you're white because you talk this way, oh, you're white because you act that way, I'm just like, How am I white? Because I speak proper, the language that they they taught, they taught our, you know, ancestors. I just speak it (laughs) properly, I don't know why that would make me white, you know something, (laughs) that saying sounds like something from slavery, like an insult that you'll tell a black person that's trying to better themselves and you're not Mm -hmm. there yet, so you want to insult them any kind of way, because like, that's basically like you're so smart. Like you gonna you're mad because I'm intelligent. Like what? So I, I just I'm hoping we can grow past that yeah, and definitely. create future leaders who don't think in that kind of way. <laughs> but I do feel like that's a perfect segue. Yes. So into the next part, which is again. So you say you have an organization, right? Yes. And the name of that was. We are the solution. We are the solution. So that's that's. That's perfect. That's smart. So you yeah. got a podcast named that and an organ- organization as well. Yep, because I want people to connect it to know that mm-hmm. this is not only am I trying to be physically out in the community, but if you can't be out there, you don't want to seek help in person. I also have another outlet where you can listen to what the organization finds important, what we are um, focusing on, and just report news that you may not pay attention to or be aware of. Like I did a special on voting in the history of the political parties because a lot of people don't know the history of democrats and republicans like at all like how they started which party black people were involved in why they began in the first place and all of that stuff is very important so that's what we are the solution podcast focuses on but the organization itself we're going to be doing a lot of um philanthropy a lot of mentorship um out in the community making sure the homeless people are okay that's why i say we are the solution i do not mean that just based on like my color like black people are the solution i mean no we as in humans are the solution for ourselves like we're trying to seek help from all these other people we have we can do it we can do it if we just all got together with our resources we can make a lot of stuff possible so and then with that, so you say you're having an upcoming event on Sunday, right? Yes, on so you Sunday. So talk more about that? Like? So on Sunday in South Dallas, over there where they call this place Tent City, um, it's about off of 45 by that bridge. Um, I'm going to just be out there handing out sacks of food. We're going to have hot dogs, chips, you know, cookies, juice, water, all of that stuff, or whatever people want to donate, we're going to have out there for the homeless or whoever needs it can come get it. You know what I'm saying? This is just for the community. If maybe your kids haven't been able to get, maybe your kids haven't been able to get. That's my son. We're going to leave that in there. For, yeah, no, for the we simple got, we fact, have to, we have to, yeah, we got to leave that in there. <laughs> So if you if you have any family that um that you think you know 
it ain't even that you homeless, but you just want some snacks for your kids and you can't afford it right now. Maybe you didn't get the food stamps or the unemployment that some people was blessed with. We're going to be down there Sunday at 5 p.m. to 7.30, about 7.30. All right, so for anyone out there that's watching this or comes across this, uh, if anyone wants to get involved with your uh, um, organization as far as like volunteering or helping out, what's the best way for them to come about that? So they reach out to you directly or um, what's the best way for them to? Okay, the best way that you can reach out to me if you want to get involved with We Are The Solution is to add our page on Facebook. It's literally titled We Are The Solution and it has a light bulb with um, little shock things coming off of it um, because of watts. I thought it was like a thing that I was trying to do because you know like electricity you know, watts. <laughs> I don't know. So that's it. You can follow us on um, or come on the group page. Send me a message through there. We are the solution. Or you can add me on Facebook at Asia Lachelle. That is my name. Um, try to send me a message first if you send me a friend request because I don't normally check those friend requests between. Um, or you can get at me on Instagram, which is Wordplay Queen. So that'll probably be the quickest reply. <laughs> if you want to get involved with anything that we're doing, I'm literally just a message away. I'm super approachable. I would love to organize things with other organizations too. So if you have your own nonprofit, I would love to work with you. Like, for real. Oh, thank you again for coming out, uh, for being part of the, uh, the podcast. Well, see, now you got me calling it the podcast. For being because part of the interview, the podcast. It's cool yeah. like a podcast, but it's fancy like an interview. <laughs> so. There you go. So we'll call it something in between. Like we'll, we'll come up with the word or something. But uh, no, thank you again for coming out here. Pod view. There you go. Pod Interpod. view. I think pod view. I think that's pod view. Pod view. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Coming something new every day. So thank you again for coming out here on the, uh, the pod view. Uh, <laughs> we really appreciate everything you do, especially in the community. I think that's, that's really dope. The fact that you're helping out all these people and then the younger generation as well. So that's we need more of that. And I, I just love it. So thank you. Thank you again for being a part of that. Being I'm so part glad of to be here. Thank you. And I hope you all check out View 95 Media, okay? Because this stuff right here is legit. <laughs> okay? Thank you, bro. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. Watching, y'all have a good one.